Hello everyone, here I am going to tell you about an esophageal trauma which is seen in alcoholic because of the forceful vomiting, right? And that esophageal trauma, there are two things. One is Mallory with stare and second is the Boerhoff syndrome, right? So these are alcoholic patient, forceful vomiting and that will lead to the esophageal trauma. So what happens in Mallory with stare? Mallory with stare is a vomiting against the delayed relaxation of the cardia, right? And in this patient, you will find less severe type of trauma where you will see only mucosal rupture. See the name Mallory mucosal rupture only mnemonic. Most common site is cardia and at the gastroesophageal junction. But where it is more commonly seen. So remember, it is not in the esophagus. It is in the stomach area cardia, which is most commonly affected. Right. And Mallory with tear, as I said, mucosal tear. So you can see mucosa, submucosa, muscular propria, adventitia. So only mucosa has been damaged here. Right. So only mucosal tear will be seen. Right. Whereas Boerhoff syndrome is vomiting against the closed glottis. It is a most severe more severe form and here all layers will be ruptured and because of all layer rupture they can lead to the mediastinitis and other complications also and they are severe right so what is the most common site lower one third of the esophagus remember most common site for malorevis is cardia here it is lower one third of the esophagus and where in the left posterior lateral side right and boerhoff syndrome as you can see all four layers will be ruptured they will be requiring surgical repair whereas spontaneous uh, uh, malorevis stair will be having a spontaneous healing so enjoy learning best wishes for you